All right, welcoming in this week's, it's, it's the guest of the week. It is UFC light heavyweight Jimmy Manoa, who joins us over the phone from across the pond over in London. However, Jimmy, you were just in the U.S. for a while, as I understand it, about, um, what was it, like a nine, ten-day trip that uh, you were just in the States? Yeah, I was, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, great to get away from London and uh, take a long-awaited break with the family. And that's we had a great time in Vegas and uh, had a small trip to Buffalo when I first got there as well. So it was uh, an eventful, eventful trip. Yeah, it sounds like it. Was this more of like a um, a business or pleasure trip? It sounds like both, I guess. It was both. It was both. It was, yeah, it was both. It was both. We done business, then a bit of pleasure, then a bit of business, and then finished off with some pleasure. <laughs> so, so I got there. And then um, the day I was leaving for, for, for Vegas, I heard Jones was, was going to Buffalo to the fight. So um, I decided to book a, book a flight to Buffalo when I got to Vegas. So I got to Vegas, then I flew to Buffalo for the weekend, and then um, got back to Vegas after the fights and that. Why, uh, why fly to Buffalo? And, of course, you're talking about UFC 210, Daniel Cormier facing Rumble Johnson. That's a title fight in your division. Why? I mean, it, it, to a certain extent, the answer is obvious. John, if John's going, you know, you don't want him to have the spotlight. But why do you think that you weren't going to go anyway? Like, why did it take John to be there in order for you to be there? Um, because I didn't want him to kind of jump, jump the line. And I think I've been working hard, knocking people out, and uh, I believe I deserve, de- de- deserve the title shot. And um, no, he's, he's he's the greatest of all time, but he's been off for is it a year or two years or something. And uh, you know, I think he he needs a warm up fight. I think he knows he needs a warm up fight before, before going for the champion. So I just wanted to go and make my presence known to both him. DC or Rumble, whoever would have won, I'm ready. And uh, I think I, uh, I made that clear to them. I didn't even have to say nothing until um, DC, DC felt my presence there. So he came to me after he won. He knew I was there. He could feel, could feel, me, feel me breathing down his neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when the night ended, did you, feel like, did you feel like mission accomplished? Because, as you mentioned, DC, he acknowledged you after beating Rumble Johnson. He also did acknowledge John, and he was asked about John by Joe Rogan. Did you feel like coming out of, of Saturday, did you still feel like, I've got my place in line, I'm still ahead of John Jones? Um, I don't know. You can't really, you can't really uh, argue with John Jones. He's the, best of, he's the best of all time in all weight divisions, I think, and well, maybe him and uh, Mighty Mouse after last last week's uh, performance, but I don't know. I don't know. I just I just feel I've 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 finished all the fights. I've finished all my fights in spectacular fashion. I don't go to decision, you know. So I'm the like Mike Tyson of the of, of the division now, you know. And um, you know, I think all the, all these people know that I'm a bad I'm a, I'm a bad fight for anyone. So you know, you can't really you can't really argue with Jones, so who knows what will happen. Well, you posted a photo uh, of yourself and, and Dana White, and that was I, I, could, I could tell that it was outside of White's office here in Las Vegas. You guys are both smiling. You, uh, yeah. you mentioned David Hay yeah. in, the, uh, in the Twitter post, so tell us about that meeting. What was the purpose of that meeting? Was that planned? Did you know it was going to happen, or was that something that just came together quickly? Yeah, yeah, what- it was, it was, yeah, yeah, it was a it was, yeah, it was a planned meeting. That's what, that's why I went to Vegas. I made a holiday out of it as well. So I, went, I, I met uh, Dane on Thursday. We talked. We talked David Hay. We talked title fights. We talked the whole division. And, and uh, I came. I came from the meeting happy. And uh, Dana left the meeting happy as well. So you know, it's, um, we got we got good plans. We got good plans in progress. Well, share them with us, Jimmy. It sounds like a great meeting. It sounds like you guys are talking about some exciting stuff there. So, <laughs> spill the beans, man. What's what's going on? You know, all the fights are going to happen. All the fights I want are going are to happen eventually, whether it's now or later. It depends on certain other, other um, how, how how other things play into into context. But you know, 
all the fights I want uh, uh, are, a, are a big possibility. Big. I've got a green light for everything, so that's it. I want a title fight, but a green light for that. But it depends whether it depends on Jones and DC and, and, and everything else. So um, we'll see what happens, man. I, I, I came away from the from the meeting happy. Yeah. Well, I, I spoke to Dana White uh, yesterday, actually, and I wrote a story about. He, he essentially told me that, you know, Cormier's got two great options. Jimmy Manoa met up with me, and, you know, he said that you guys had a run-in in the back and that, uh, you know, he really wants that fight. Then, of course, you've got Jones, the rivalry that DC has with Jones. So we have two great options. Dana White told me, I'm, I, I'm willing to give Jones the immediate title shot against DC in late July. But if he's not ready and he wants to fight someone else, well, then, you know, Manawa versus uh, DC is the fight to make. Is that is that your understanding of it as well, is that it's it's kind of up to John Jones and, and when he comes back? Is that sort of you're waiting around for a decision from him? It, it wasn't that at the meeting, but we hadn't heard from, from DC. I think... I don't know. I don't know. D, DC, DC would probably... I don't know what I don't know what DT is. It's up to DT as well. Whether he wants a money fight or whether he, whether he wants a real fight, you know. Uh, John's beat him. He hasn't fought me yet, and everything. And he knows I'm I'm, I'm not going to be going five rounds with him. And so I'm going to put him away in round two, and that. So I, I think I think he he knows it's a big risk fighting me, and he'd want a big money fight for with John Jones. So um, it all depends if Jones. Does want the fight, but it also depends if DC wants the fight as well. If that fight is the fight that ends up happening, will you be? I'm sure you'll be disappointed, of course. Will you be? Will you be angry? In another way, and to put it another way, would you be upset if John Jones, after only fighting once in the last two years? Uh, is able to come back and get an immediate title shot over someone like yourself who has been competing is on a winning streak. Um, would that bother you, or, or like you said, do you do you kind of understand it just because of his situation? It will it will bother me, but at the end of the day, what it won't it won't like determine what I'm going to do. I've got options as well. You know, I've got David Hay, I've got I've got uh, whoever else in the, in, in the division as well. But I want my title shot. I'm, I, I deserve the title shot. And that, so you know, I've, I've got options myself. So it won't define it won't define my career. And that, but I believe I do deserve a title shot, hundred percent. But that? you can't, like I said before, you can't argue with John Jones. He, he's the best. He's the best uh, of all time. So, you know, I think I think they're giving him um, they're giving him first, first, first pick, and that. But it, it all, it all depends on, on if he's ready and if he wants to go into a title title shot. Because if he loses. It's going to be it's going to be problems for him. A lot of times, uh, when when big name fighters like yourself go into Vegas, they meet with Dana White. They come out of that office. They have a contract extension. You know, not always, but a lot of times that's that's discussed. Was it is discussed at all to extend your contract? That was that was discussed before. That was discussed before. We didn't we didn't talk about any any contracts at a meeting. So. Um, you know, we we know what we're doing, and I'm happy with everything, how it stands. And you know, you mentioned David Hay a couple times. I mean, obviously, people want to know what is what is really what's going on there. Is that a realistic possibility? You are absolutely unequivocally saying that it is a possibility. What is what is Dana White's reaction to that? You know, you said you had a meeting with him to discuss David Hay. What is that discussion like? Yeah, that, yeah, Dana, Dana liked it. We, we were together, we called David Hay, we talked numbers and everything, and Dana's interested, you know. So, um, we, but we want to get we want to get this title shot out of the way and everything. So, we'll see what happens if I get a title shot or, um, or we'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So, you and Dana are sitting around. It's, it's, it's all going to, um, yeah. It's all gonna unfold in the next in the next week or so. Wow. So we'll know we'll know in the next week or so. Wow. So you yeah. and Dan, you and Dana are sitting around one of those uh, fancy conference call things, and you call up David Hay. That's what happened. No, I thought it on my iPhone. You called him on your <laughs> iPhone. Okay. <laughs> and and, uh, and, and so, iPhone iPhone seven, yeah. <laughs> so Jimmy's iPhone seven calls up David Hay. Which is he under David Hay on your phone? Is that how he is under your contact list? What's he under? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. David Hay. Okay. Hey, David Hay. He answers the phone, mm-hmm. and you guys, you guys discuss numbers and come come to an agreement right there on your iPhone, huh? With Dana White sitting next next to you. We, we um, not an agreement, but we we said that we said it's very possible. Dana liked the numbers he was hearing, and um, he uh, he said the fight's definitely definitely possible. So, but we want to get this BT title fight out of the way. You doing that in Vegas, or you got to take that back over to uh, to the UK? David Hay versus Jimmy Manoa. Can that fight uh, happen in Vegas? That that's going to be in London. That's going to be in London. Oh, that's a London on. fight. All right. We're gonna sell out the whole yeah. We're gonna sell out the whole in London pay per view TV everything. So um, so together with David Hay Promotions and and uh, and the UFC machine as well, we're gonna sell everything out. So uh, to wrap this up, you're telling me that yeah. uh, your next fight, the next time that you compete, will either be for a UFC title fight or David Hay, or are you open to to something else? Or are those really the only two options in your mind right now? I don't know, man. It's definitely those two fights, and possibly I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The only person realistically is going to is Shogun, but I don't really like. I don't know. I don't. I would love to fight Shogun, but for me, that's going backwards again because last time I was, I was scheduled to fight Tashira, which is going forwards because he's ranked above me, and that fight didn't happen. I took the Corey Anderson fight. I knocked him out in uh, in three minutes. Or was it two minutes? Two or three minutes. And, um, you know, Shogun's right below me now. So fighting Shogun would be going backwards again. But, you know, it is, it is what it is. So it's possibly, it's possibly going to be Shogun, David Hay, or Daniel Cormier. Hey, la- to see. last question before well, I'm I let you go. I'm easy. Last last question before I let you go, and we appreciate the time again. Um, what did you think? I didn't even ask you what you thought of, of DC's title defense. It was a, kind of a weird fight, right? Anthony Johnson coming out and wrestling the Olympic you wrestler. Know what? Listen, if I would have fought him that night, I would have knocked him out. That's why I'm so confident in this fight with him. Everyone's writing me off and everything, and I, love, I really love it. I love his confidence and everything, because when he gets hit hard from me, He's gonna. He's, he's gonna. He's, he's not gonna know what to do. He's gonna be shooting for his for his wrestling. He's gonna switch to his wrestling. And when he can't take me down, and everything, he's gonna be, he feels my strength, and he I'll kill him in a clinch as well. He's gonna. He's, he's, he's gonna have a reality check. So I love confidence. I love. I love everyone putting me down and everything. I proper love it. Everything on Twitter, my Instagram, and everything. I love it. So um, you know, I'm just, I'm just secretly working hard and everything. And, and and when the fight does come and I do crack him. He's going to know what's up. I love it, too. Yeah, I was there in Buffalo. I watched the fight, and just seeing mm-hmm. seeing Jones in the front row, seeing yourself in the front row, there, there's fun options at the top of that division. Uh, obviously, a boxing match with David Hay, that would be a spectacle as well. So exciting stuff for you, man. Uh, appreciate the time again. Hope you enjoyed your time in Vegas, in New York, and we will talk again uh, real soon as, soon, as soon as we know what's next for you. Thanks, Jimmy. Exactly, exactly. Thanks for having me, guys. All right.